She got it. Ju- I got your juicy entertainment news for Wednesday. R. Kelly's cellmate illustrated a comic book featuring the two of them doing yoga. Oh, so that's what they were doing. I was a little confused. Um, <laughs> R. Kelly is now one half of a supervillain team. Um, his cellmate at Brooklyn's federal jail, who was convicted of threatening to kill elected officials right after the Capitol riots, has created a comic book depicting their life behind bars. Brendan Hunt, 37, he filed the drawings in Brooklyn federal court as part of his request to be sentenced to time served. Now, the comics feature himself and R. Kelly meeting in the cell where they talk about music and do yoga together. R. Kelly is described as his sidekick. Um, The story starts with Hunt saying that he's never heard R. Kelly's songs, Ignition, or I Believe I Can Fly. Then R. Kelly says, I'm the greatest R.B. star in human history. How can you not know of R. Kelly? Millions of babies have been conceived to my records. The two comic characters then do yoga, as R. Kelly sings. (laughs) Ah, And uh, the warrior and downward dog poses make uh, them extremely buff giving them super high, superhero style bodies, which they can't wait to go out to the yard and show off. Oh yeah, this is just so great. I mean, you can't make this up. Now, Hunt's defense team included the comics in a filing to the judge to showcase not only his artistic talent, um, as well as the lasting friendships that he's made with some of the most unlikely characters. Now, of course, this is because Hunt was found guilty in April of threatening to kill members of Congress. He recorded a video after the Capitol riots, urging people to return to Washington and kill your senators. And uh, also, texts and posts were uncovered by the feds revealing his uh, racist and anti-Semitic leanings. So that's why they say that, uh, you know, he's made lasting friendships with some of the most unlikely characters. They're stuck in a cell together. He has no choice. R. Kelly has no choice. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. So Hunt has spent the last 10 months in prison, but his lawyers are trying to get him out on time serve, saying that after 10 months in jail, He's a changed man. He's expected to be sentenced on November 22nd. This is great. My favorite, favorite movie of all time, Will Ferrell's Elf Buddy Costume, was auctioned off for nearly $300,000. The Green Elf Costume. Um, In a Hollywood memorabilia auction, it went for 10 times as much as the expected price, and uh, it was expected to fetch between $27,000 and $41,000. So whoever bid on that, was a huge elf fan. Now, if you think the winning bid for the elf costume was high, check this out. Remember the famous volleyball Wilson? that Tom Hanks named the Wilson Volleyball from the movie Castaway. That sold for just under $400,000. And they've got some other amazing pieces that have been listed up for auction, including Freddy Krueger's Razor Finger Glove from A Nightmare on Elm Street, um, um, Street 3, Dream Warriors, Michael Mar- Myers' Mask from Halloween Resurrection, Val Kilmer's Batman Forever costume from 1995, um, A Robe from the Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, as well as Toby McGuire's production made Spider-Man 3 costume that goes back to 2007. And the auction actually includes 1,000 pieces of Hollywood memorabilia, which could bring in over $7.6 million. Hang on to those movie tickets, folks. You never know what they may be worth. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Wednesday. Lock it in again tomorrow for more of the juice right here on the all-new KISS 96.